Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how to create and drop tables in our Postgres databases. To create new tables in Postgres, we use the create table command. The create table command in its most basic usage expects a table name followed by a comma separated list of columns for the table. The columns should be in the format of column name followed by column type. During the table creation process, we can also set the primary key along with any constraints we may want. I'm going to use the editor meta command to make it clear what we're doing here. For our example, let's create a users table. First, we're going to set an ID column of type serial. The serial type is a convenient shorthand in Postgres. It allows us to create an auto-incrementing integer column. After defining our column type, Postgres allows us to add column constraints. Here, we're going to tell Postgres that the ID column is our primary key. We'll follow up our ID column with some name columns, all of which are going to have not null constraints. For our last column, let's create a boolean with a default value of true. Finally, we're going to add a table constraint that prevents users from being saved with the same first, last, and username combo. To do this, we start by specifying that we're creating a constraint and pass in the name of the constraint we're adding. If we choose not to provide a name, Postgres will auto-generate the name for us. We then specify the type of constraint we're creating, which in this case is a unique constraint, followed by the column or columns that the constraint will be checking against. Once we have our table fully configured, we can save this file and exit the editor. We can verify that our table was created properly using the backslash d meta command. If we try to create another table with the same name as an existing table in Postgres, an error will be raised. This error can be avoided by passing if not exists after the create table command. We can see this in action by trying to create another users table. Postgres gives us an error informing us that the table already exists. Now let's try this command again, passing the if not exists option. This time, we see a note from Postgres telling us that the table already exists and that the create statement is being skipped. To drop a table, we use the drop table command, passing the table name we want to get rid of. We can verify that it's gone using the backslash g meta command again. If we try to drop a table that's already been removed from the database, Postgres will raise an error. To avoid these kinds of errors, the drop table command has an if exists flag. We can see from the output here that the if exists option behaves like the if not exists option on the create table command. It gives us a note telling us that the table does not exist and that the dropped statement is being skipped. Thanks for watching.